Okay, so we are going to paint a room now. Uh, so uh, they, so this question was actually um, a question on my grade one, uh, not word for word. I can't do that. Um, but uh, so uh, you know that this one might actually be on a grade one. So they've given you the dimensions of a room. They've said the length of the room is 15 feet. It's 10 feet wide, and the walls are 8 feet high. And one gallon of paint covers 150 square feet. And they want to know how many gallons of paint do we need to paint this room. And so what you need to do is you need to find the square feet of each wall. So there's four walls in this room. And add them together. Then divide by how many square feet a gallon of paint will cover. So you need to find the total square feet of the entire room that you need to paint and divide it by how many square feet one gallon of paint will cover. So let's go ahead and do that. So uh, we have this room is 15 feet long and there's two walls and the walls are 8 feet high. So what we need to do is we need to multiply 15 feet times 8 feet so feet times feet gives you square feet, and then times two walls. And when you do that, you should get 240 square feet. So two walls in this room total are 240 square feet. So that's half the formula right there. So let's find out what the other walls are. So the other walls are 10 feet times 8 feet times two walls. And when you multiply those together, you should get 150, 160 square feet. So now these two walls are 160 square feet, and these two walls are 240 square feet. So we need to add those two together to figure out the total square feet of this room. And when we go ahead and do that, 240 square feet plus 160 square feet equals 400 square feet. So we have 400 square feet of wall space that we need to paint. And one gallon of paint covers 150 square feet. So if we take 400 feet, squared feet, divided by 150 square feet per gallon, and at any time you do this, these guys will cancel out. Any common that you have will cancel out and what you're left with is gallons. And so when you divide 400 by 150, you should get 2.7 gallons of paint. So to paint this whole entire room, you are going to need 2.7 gallons of paint. That's a very simple question. Uh, it's just adding and dividing and multiplying uh, your basic math that you learned when you were in fifth or sixth grade. All right, so um, let's move on, and I want to I wanna let you know that uh, this is a video so you can pause it at any time you want uh, if I'm going too fast for you to write things down. Okay, so uh, now we want to find out percent removal and percent efficiency. Uh, these two are exactly the same, so that if they say percent removal or if they say percent efficiency, it's exactly the same, same formula all the time. And uh, the formula for this is what's coming in minus what's going out divided by what's coming in all times 100. So we have influent, so what's coming in, TSS, of 215 milligrams per liter. And we have an effluent, what's going out, TSS, of 10 milligrams per liter. So we have in, we have out, we have in. So let's uh, replace this formula with our numbers. So here's the top part, in 215 milligrams per liter minus out 10 milligrams per liter equals 205 milligrams per liter. And when we do this all together, 205 milligrams per liter, which is in minus out, divided by 250 milligrams per liter, which is in, all times 100, you should get 95%. So what's coming into this plant, we're removing 95% of that. So if 215 is coming in, 
we're removing 95% of the TSS, which is great. Uh, ultimately, you would want to remove 100% of it, uh, but that's pretty much impossible, uh, unless you have some really advanced treatment systems. All right, so uh, let's move on. Okay, volume in gallons. Uh, they've given you length and width. Anytime you see length and width, you know it's a square or a rectangle. Uh, so that's a little indicator of the fact that this is a rectangle. So they've given you length of 80 feet, a width of 20 feet, and a depth of 15 feet. And they want to know the volume in gallons. So that formula would be feet times feet times feet, which is your length times your width times your depth. So feet times feet times feet equals cubic feet times 7.48 gallons per cubic foot. So in one cubic foot, you can fit 7.48 gallons of water. And that's where this number comes from. So let's go ahead and write all this out. So we have 80 feet long times 20 feet wide times 15 feet deep will give me 24,000 cubic feet. Now this right, right here is a unit of volume. You can express volume in cubic feet. Uh, but what they want is they want it in gallons. So that's where we have to do this extra step. So we need to multiply the cubic feet times 7.48 gallons per cubic foot. So if one cubic foot holds 7.48 gallons, if we have 24,000 cubic feet, you would multiply them together to get how many gallons. And when you do that, your answer should be 179,520 gallons. So uh, this tank that we have here, this rectangular tank, when operated at a depth of 15 feet, will hold 179,520 gallons at all the time. Uh, so now let's go ahead and do another volume, but this time we're going to do a circle, like a clarifier. Uh, so when you see the word diameter, diameter or circumference, uh, those are indicators of a circle. So they've given you a diameter of 70 feet. And diameter is when you have a circle, it's the length from one point all the way to the point directly across from it. So I have a circle here, so if I were to cut the circle in half, that line of cutting it in half would be 70 feet long, and that is my diameter. And uh, it is operated at a depth of 20 feet. And they want to figure out how many gallons are in this tank. So um, to find uh, the volume in cubic feet of a circle, it's a little different formula. And what it is, it's 0.785, which is a constant, times your diameter squared, so you're going to multiply the diameter times the diameter, that's squared, times feet, which is your depth, all times 7.48 gallons per cubic feet. So let's go ahead and get started on that. So 0.785 times 70 feet, which is my diameter, times 70 feet, which is my diameter, so diameter squared right here, diameter times diameter, times 20 feet, which is my depth, will give me a total of 76,930 cubic feet. But we want it in gallons. So we need to multiply it one more time by 7.48 gallons per cubic foot. And when you multiply all that together, you will get that this tank holds 575,436 gallons of water. Uh, they give you this formula on the cheat sheet for California. Uh, they also give you um, this formula for the volume of a rectangle. Uh, so these aren't um, something you need to memorize, but you should still work on them. You should, you should memorize them just so that you have them down that well. Because uh, when you walk into your test, you'll feel extremely confident that you're going to pass it. Uh, you won't be worried about making little mistakes like that. 